Okay, so this should be video, uh, I guess, six now. Um, this is the second part of the div number two, I guess, tutorial or whatever. Um, I was right here showing you, you know, this Excel document of the sample data he gave us in class. Um, and right here it shows, you know, the BE table, the five uh, people or entities, the detail table, uh, the GS, goods and services table, the ledger table, which I just filled in. He didn't have this in class, but I just filled in. Um, I think that's what he wants, though. And then uh, the order table. And the two journal vouchers and the trial balance. And to do the trial, tri trial balance, um, you'll go up to the details table. And you will look at... He didn't give us this. You'll look at the... Uh, so you see 1,000, you look at the quantity in each columns for the 1,000 account, and you'll just multiply those two, which would give you 10,000. And then you look at the next 1,000 account, and you'd see it says 10,000 if you multiply it out. And then this next one would be negative 3,000 because it's a negative one. And then this next one would be negative 600. And then the next one would be 18. And if you summed all those up, you would come down and you would put it right there, which would be 16,418. And since it's a positive, you can put it as debit. And if it was negative, you could put it as credit. And I think it's actually, there might be like some special case when it might need to be different. Um, but for the most part, I think that's what it is. Um, you can delete those. Uh, Let's see, but yeah, you'll need to you know, kind of use this, kind of go through it and see what the 3,000 is in the ledger account table, which would be owner's equity, and see kind of what it, what, what it means. So it, you probably bought something, I guess, or it went to owner's equ equity. Um, and you can look at you know what, it, what this is over here, the goods and services. You can see when someone rents a DVD, Harry Potter DVD, or when someone buys something, or whatever, um, or when he's doing rent cost, and you can just kind of look at that and kind of come up with your own sample data, your own data, I mean, for uh, all this, but you can kind of work off of it and dissect it and use it uh, as you will. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, next thing. The trial balance prepared from the details in the sample. Uh, so we're going to go to the uh, spreadsheet again, I guess. I already showed you how to calculate the trial balance. And uh, you, know, you just simply multiply those out and put them right there, and it should be good. And you can do the journal vouchers. You can look at how that looks and how that's formed cash, paid in capital, rent, all those numbers, and see how they match up with numbers up here, and, uh, you know, use that, and then, if you go to, uh, the image on the whiteboard, uh, for the trial balance, you can look at that if you want, it's, it's exactly what's in the Excel document, though, but you can look at it if you want. That's just what he wrote. Um, you can also... Okay, so the, those are all the components, I guess, of div number two. Um, quick overview of it, though. You know, this is kind of what you're supposed to submit um, as like a PDF cover sheet. Should be maybe page one. A brief overview describing project number one could be page two. Use case diagram could be the next page, class diagram, database ERD, uh, data dictionary, tables populated with sample data, and then a trial balance, and I suppose the three journals as well. Uh, that could be page eight, maybe. Something like that. And you could make it as a PDF, which if you want to, you could use, um, you know, there's many methods to make a PDF. Um, you can also, I think, submit it as a Word document if you wanted to. 
but it is very easy to do a PDF if you just opened it in open off or uh, open uh, if you opened it in Google Docs or you made it in Google Docs you just go to download as PDF right there and that would work uh, you could also um, go to open if you have open office or you can download it for free um, the open office writer is all you really is all you need so you don't have to install everything that comes with open office you can just install the open office writer and once you're done making it uh, you can just say click this button right here and export directly as PDF and it's very very easy uh, you can open up you actually make it in Microsoft Word if you wanted to and just open up a Microsoft Word document uh, from open office writer and that's an easy way to do a PDF as well um, yeah, there's those are two ways to do it and there's other ways you can use other ways as well um, I'm thinking that's about all there is to really do for uh, deliverable number two um, there's more than I could I can upload another video to touch up on that or I could make some annotations um, but I think that's about it uh, all right, I'm going to go and shut her down. Thanks.